Hello, hello, fellow LEGO fans. It's George Bricks here, and welcome to the fifth update here on my LEGO City Rebuild. There's been lots of stuff going on here in the LEGO room over the past couple days, and I want to show you guys all the different progress that I've made, and also some plans that I have for the near future here in the LEGO room. Starting right over here in the amusement park, I recently resurfaced this pool table and it actually gave me five more inches. So I'm going to be, at, be able to add a layer of base plates, well half base plates, all the way along here, giving some more room to the amusement park, which is definitely much needed because it is quite crowded over there. So I will be working on that in the near future. Also going to be working on this new train station over here that's going to service the new Ninjago district and also be installing the elevated train track going all the way around the Lego City. More on that later in this update. So this body of water here flows over the, into the ocean here through this waterfall. And right now I am currently standing in the ocean. This body of water hypothetically will be right here and will connect with this body of water right over here, which is the boatyard. This boatyard, I do plan on raising up these three base plates right here, so it is a little bit higher than the water. That's the old fishing store base plate, and also the uh, boat launch there. I added uh, the residential buildings right over here, and that's, uh, I think, a good fit for them right there, right near the boatyard. I also added some LED strip lights right here, giving a lot more light over here in the Lego room. These LED strip lights are pretty cool. They're actually the existing ones I used to have. They run off this remote, so you can actually change the color, but I think white is the best fit. So a major, major change that I've done in the LEGO City is I've moved all my modular buildings, in which you can see on the back row over here. So we got the diner, the detective shop, and the Parisian restaurant right here, the Palace Cinema, the assembly square, the brick bank, the hotel, the green grocer, and the Grand Emporium over there. Now something really exciting that I've done is I've connected them all to their road plates like so and I've also evenly spaced out the different lamps, light posts, and also the trees between. So over the last couple days I've been able to move these modular buildings and work on a lot of detail uh, when moving them and putting them in their actual positions. Another thing I've been working on over here is installing my permanent train track. So you can see the ballast rail going around the front here. This ballast rail goes all the way around, curves through here, and actually runs all the way around the back of all the modular buildings. And then I do plan on running my SkyTrain track starting up there in the elevated train station and that's going to run around the front here all the way around all the way down here gonna have to do some editing here so it goes along here you can board it here at the big brick train station it's gonna squeeze through here and this past this um, boat launch here then run right along the edge of the water here so the boats will still have a chance to get out here into the ocean and dock if they need be. And then I'm actually going to build a hinged platform, which is going to be here on hinges, that is going to connect these two tables so the train can then get back and service the amusement park. So I think that's going to be a really exciting touch that I'm going to work on here in the next week. As you can see, all my vehicles are currently on the table. There's no vehicles around the LEGO City because I find they get in the way. Same with minifigs. Minifigs get in the way when you're uh, building a LEGO City, working on things such as lighting and train tracks. You can see my huge stack of base plates right here that uh, are all extras at this point. Crazy, eh? That's a lot of base plates. My ballast train tracks, which I still have to do here. I will not have to do, but have to uh, still put some of those into the city, mostly in behind the, the modular buildings. There's no, um, you can see that the train track in behind the modular buildings is just sort of temporary. It's not ballast and it doesn't have a base plate base. So I have to work on that. 
So we got the modular buildings all lined up. I really like the way those look together. Then right over here, this other strip, we got our triple pet shop, which is beer, pets, and post. Still want to uh, edit the, the beer and the post sign, make one red and one blue, uh, yellow, sorry. And then we got the fire brigade, the triple townhouse, and then we have the town hall. Town hall, I've uh, made an eight inch gap, just sort of, sort, of, sort of it sits on its own there. So I do uh, have to find, I know I have some base plates somewhere that's gonna help me, uh, whoops, just bumped the camera there, but uh, gonna help me fill that in. My gimbal didn't like that. <laughs> and then I got uh, the, of course, the um, Ghostbusters HQ here with the Ecto-1 pulling out. And right across from that, we have the Avengers Tower, the custom Avengers Tower with the Stark Monument there, Iron Man Monument. And then we got our little strip mall here. Toys R Us, Lego, 7-Eleven, Starbucks, Tiffany's gas station and then a few little the mini modular buildings here sort of right by the the beach which will be here and then there are sort of industrial area so we have our large Lego factory there which can be uh, serviced by the train running in behind it the police station and the fire station so there's three fire stations in my city there's a lot of fires going on here <laughs> but I like fire stations and I like fire trucks and then, of course, our train yard over here, which uh, remains sort of untouched. Got my sort of gradual slope here going up to the Ninjago district. So as you can see, what's really exciting about the Lego Room progress right now is I'm sort of back to where I almost was a couple of weeks ago when it was one big table layout. I'm sort of back to where I started. I just have to work on some finite details like uh, the sky train which is probably the biggest one and probably the next thing I'm going to be working on of course putting all the minifigs and vehicles on the roads increase uh, improving this beach here improving the um, cliff edge which I was doing prior to the rebuild and improving the Ninjago district and train station and amusement park and all that sort of stuff as well has to be done here in the Lego City also, uh, because of the half base plate type thing, I have to go about cutting base plates, uh, road plates in particular, the cross ones. I'm going to cut one in half so I can fill this awkward gap here. And it's uh, a face reality. It's just something that I have to do. And as you can see, I have no shortage of base plates, so I'm really not too concerned about it. May as well cut one of those in half so I can use them somewhere else. And I'll probably, when I do cut that one in half, to fill this gap, I'll be removing these uh, white sort of zebra stripes as the crosswalks. So really exciting here in the Lego room. Really excited uh, to say the least. Got my LED strip lights installed, the first ones. There'll be a lot more of those coming in the near future, I believe. Got a plan for my SkyTrain. Got the uh, residential area put back in. Got the um, modular buildings moved. Got the industrial area set up, Stark Tower, or sorry, Avengers Tower, and um, Ghostbusters HQ. Really excited about the half a base plate strip here opened up in the amusement park. That's really cool. And then in my last video, you guys saw that I, um, I increased the amount of shelves that I have, so they stretch all the way along here. And I have room for another row of shelves above that changed some of the shelf layout above there and also I uh, improved the uh, Star Wars shelf up top here and uh, you guys can see all the vehicles that I have let's get a shot of all these vehicles here and the Hulk of course Hulk Buster so I got all these vehicles that uh, will eventually populate the road got my um, just been a miscellaneous parts, just reality when you uh, destroy a Lego city, that's gonna happen. And then I got more uh, more vehicles up here by the um, Millennium Falcon, the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon, which is sitting on its uh, Technic display stand. Yeah. Really like these lights, look at the difference. Like when you look at this shelf and then this shelf, so I'm thinking I'm going to install these LED lights on the shelving as well. So 
So yeah, I'm super excited about all the changes here in the Lego room in particular. I really like my design right now. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions or comments or ideas to help improve my design. Always looking for great suggestions here. And uh, let me know what you guys think about my, uh, my bridge here that I'm going to build. My hinged bridge connecting these two tables for the SkyTrain. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And once again, please comment below with your guys' ideas. And have yourselves a great day. I do appreciate the view, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.